Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Cobble Creations. I had an amazing summer. I'm sorry I haven't been painting much, but it was really nice out and I did a lot of traveling and spent some time outside. Lots of family time and it was really, really nice. So now that it's cooled off a bit, I've decided to, to do some more, some more fun stuff inside. I'm feeling really motivated today, I guess. So I got a, a huge canvas. It is 36 by 48. It's a paint over. Um, I did one on it a long time ago that I, I don't even remember what I put on it, but I, I just got sick of it or I didn't like it or something. So I just have it covered in a coat of gesso. Um, I will show you in a sec. It's black gesso. It, it comes in black and white. I would have rather have had white for this since I'm doing most of my negative space. It's going to be in white. Um, and it's a lot easier to cover that way, but I only had black, so I went with it and it's fine. I just find that as long as you cover the edge, I'll just show you. All right, so as long as you cover the edge, just paint this white or leave it white if it's already white. Um, it's just because like the paint on that goes on the top of a pour is usually thick enough to cover black. Um, but the edge, it thins right out as it runs off. So it's really thin there. So sometimes it's hard to cover if that's left black. So that's why I just like to do that. Okay, so here's the colors I'll be using. This is Pebeo Iridescent Green Yellow. It's really shimmery and beautiful. It comes from this container. Um, the next warm color is um, Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. And that comes in this. This is a Deco Art Neon Pink. And I do have a little bit of white added to this, just a tiny little bit. Just because it's a really transparent color and um, I don't want it to be washed out and the white will make it a little more opaque. I have a Brilliant Blue by Artist Loft with a little bit of iridescent blue added to that and that's by Sergeant Art. This is the blue. I have a Pebeo Iridescent Blue Green. I absolutely love this color. It's a little shimmery, it's beautiful. It comes in this tube. And I have purple. This is by Montmart. One of the few that actually has good pigment from Montmart because Montmart is a pretty cheap brand. It's it's good quality paint. It's just not a lot of pigment for most colors. So, and I do have a little bit of iridescent purple added to this as well. And that is by Sergeant Ertz. Um, another Montmart I have is black. Like usually black and white are the only ones I will use by Montmart. And here it is. And then titanium white which is by Montmart nothing special it's just a nice white so I showed you my colors there is a link to a video in the description of my my mixing video if you want to see my recipe and all that these are mixed um, thinner than I normally would for anything that would involve tilting because I am going to do a Dutch pour which means I'm using a hairdryer um, and basically when you use a hairdryer you want your paint to be a little thinner because you want to you want to be able to blow easily so I just have um, just a regular old hair dryer, nothing special. It's covered in paint because I've used it a million times. And I like to put this attachment on it. It just it gives me more control over the air. This is on Amazon. It comes in a set of three for $13. Um, who knows, it's probably like way more now since, since COVID prices went crazy. But when I bought it, it was $13. So that just fits on the end. It doesn't clip, it just sticks on there and it's fine. So I'm gonna cover this whole thing in white paint that I have already mixed up. Now this is nothing special. Um, a lot of times I do use titanium white by Montmart. That's just what I have on hand and I was out. So I have this cheaper um, tempera paint by Saks. It's, again, Amazon $20 for this whole thing. I think that's pretty good. Um, so I'm just gonna use that and I'm gonna cover this whole thing here. So now I do have the floor um, protected a little, you know, I do have the floor protected because paint will fly further than you plan for it to fly, especially when using a head dryer. So it's just good to be extra safe. So you don't ruin something. I'm just gonna tip this, let this spread out a little that way, just because the canvas is so big. Yeah, so that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna 
cover my edges a little better here. And basically what I'm doing, I want to do, I want to do like a, like a flow of cooler colors and one of warmer colors and they're going to kind of hopefully meet in the middle and kind of split off and see how that goes. Sure we got lots. That's pink. And we'll go with the gold. And the green and yellow. And the cooler side will have blue. And now I'm going to do the same with the black where I just want not a lot. Just going to do little dots. And now I always need a little bit of white just to run along the edge here. Just so it gives it something to flow over. So I think I'm going to go with this one and kind of go this way and then I'm going to come back with the blue side. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's have a look at this. So I'm not sure. So I have these few little flecks of paint in places, like see here where it kind of spattered. Now I'm not sure if I want to clean those up and make it really clean or leave them. It's beautiful. Look at that. I love how these colors go together. And because they're separate like this, we don't get any mudding. A little bit of black really pulls everything together. Tell me what you think. And this gold, when that dries, it's gonna be very shiny. Let me know in the comments what you think of the color mix and, and all of it. All right, so thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.